Welcome to online study for you. This is a session on C programming aptitude which covers the sample questions for the TCS and QT examination. So let's get started. The first question is choose the correct output for the given program. So this is the program and this is the output. So let us see the program and then analyze what is happening here. So the main function is given here and then we have declared two variables of integer type one is a and one is b and b has been initialized to 10 so then in the next line a is equal to minus b minus minus so what is happening here that is the mysterious thing so then in the next line we are printing two integers that is a and b and we have to guess or we have to choose what is going to happen the first option is whether we're going to get an error the second option is we're going to get minus 10 and 9 that is the value of a is equal to minus 10 and the value of b is equal to 9 or 9 and 9 or minus 10 and plus 10 so so what does this sentence mean a is equal to b minus minus b minus minus so here what happens is this is evaluated as a is equal to minus it it creates a hypothetical bracket here and it evaluates the sentence so what happens here is first b minus minus is computed and since this is a post decrement operator the value of b is considered as 10 here okay so a will now have minus 10 so in this case we can strike out option 3 and option 1 because they are not needed so either option 2 or option 4 are our answer so this since this is a post decrement operator after assigning the value it becomes 9 so on your computer screen you're going to get 10 space 9 which is option 2 so let us execute the program and see for ourselves if this output is true or not so I'm going to copy this program and I'm going to paste it in my local IDE that is code blocks so I'm going to save it and then I'm going to run the program and I'm going to get minus 10 comma 9 as my output so option 2 minus 10 space 9 is the answer second question is what is the output of the given code snippet so this is the code snippet and these are the options so it is given that hash define int space care so in the main function you have declared int i is equal to 65 and printf percentage d which is an integer and size of i so what is happening so i i is an integer variable so what is the size of i so the size of an integer variable is 4 bytes no that is actually wrong so what is the correct answer so you have completely neglect this sentence so what this does is it changes int so hash defined int what it does is wherever int is there it is going to replace this with care so what happens is a is actually a character variable with i is equal to 65 so if you print this you're going to get the size of a character variable that is one bytes so that is going to be printed here so if you print percentage c here you're going to get capital a as the output that is the ascii value of capital a character so this is not in the scope of this question but i still went ahead and uh, told you that so let us execute that program for ourselves and see whether we really get this answer or not so okay there is an error here so i'll just have to write this and then execute again to get one as the answer which is the size of character in the given question so option three one is the correct answer 
सो क्वेश्चन थ्री चूज द आउटपुट ऑफ द गिवन कोर्ट स्नेपेट सो दिस इज द कोर्ट स्नेपेट लुक स्केरी सो ट्रस्ट मी इट इज नॉट सो मच डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड सो वॉट इज हैपनिंग हियर ट्राई लेट एस ट्राई टू एनालाइज सो वी हैव डिक्लेयर अ कैरेक्टर अरे ओके एंड इट इज इनिशियलाइज विथ दिस मेनी कैरेक्टर सो द फर्स्ट कैरेक्टर इज ए बी सी एन स्लैश एन सी एंड अ टर्मिनेटिंग नल कैरेक्टर सो वॉट इज हैपनिंग इज यू गोइ टू यू आर क्रिएटिंग एन अरे ओके सो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सो वॉट यूर You are storing A here, okay? B here, C here, and new line character slash N here, and C again, and this is the null character which cannot be printed on the screen. So, so this is zero, this is one, this is two, three. Four and five. So this is the character array S that we have. So then later we have declared three pointer variables: star p, star str, and star str one. So now what we have made is p is equal to S of three ampersand S of three. So what what happens now is that you are going to have a pointer p which is pointing. here to the third index of the s array and then what what you have is str is equal to p so what is happening here is str is equal to p that is this str is also pointing to the same one so next you have str1 is equal to s so here you have S P R one is equal to S. So whenever you mention S, it is immediately going to point to the first one. Okay, to the first number in the given S. So next, what happens is you are having a print F percentage D, and you have plus plus star P. so star p refers to the value in the p variable so let us go to p and the value is slash n so plus plus slash n means it is going to increment the ascii value of slash n so the ascii value of slash n is 10 so plus plus 10 we are going to get 11 so 11 is in the equation so we have 11 plus 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 star str one. So str one is here, and str one is pointing to a. So the ASCII value of a is ninety seven. Okay, the ASCII value of a is ninety seven, and plus plus str one star str one gives you ninety eight. So in our equation, we have eleven. Plus ninety-eight and the minus thirty-two, which is here, so you will have minus thirty-two. So the final answer of this is seventy-seven. So ninety-eight plus eleven minus thirty-two will give you seventy-seven. So let us see for ourselves by executing the code for the third question whether we are going to get the correct answer or not. So. i'm going to execute this and i got 77 as the answer which is option 1 so let us go for the question 4 which is guess the output of the given program this is a given program it is small and tidy so you have hash define a at 100 and then again inside the main question you have hash define a as 250 
so then you have printed a what will be the value what will be the output so remember hash define is a preprocessor directive so you will have your hash include here right you'll have your all slash include here and then you have your all hash def here and then inside the main function you will have the variable declaration so but you have placed hash define inside the main function itself so are we going to get an error or are we going to get 65 which is the ASCII value of capital A okay so are we going or are we going to get 250 which is this one or are we going to get 100 which is this one so what are we going to get so if you read the rules of C programming correctly this hash define is called as preprocessor directive and it can be changed at any point of the program even inside a user defined function or a main function so since a has been declared as 100 here here a will be 250 and thus you will get 250 as the answer because the new updated directive preprocessor directive is 250 for a so let us execute the program and see for ourselves if the answer is true so i'm going to replace the program and then i'm going to run it so i got 250 which is the option three here so let us go for the last question of this video that is guess the output of the given program so the program is given here these are the options so let us see what is here so you have int x is equal to 10 y is equal to 20 and z is equal to 5 and you have another variable i so in the next line we have i is equal to x less than y less than z and then in the next line you have printed percentage d i so the value of i is printed so what is stored in i so is it 35 that is 20 plus 10 plus 5 that is x plus y plus z or is it 1000 that is 10 multiplied by 20 multiplied by 5 is it 0 or is it 1 so what is stored so what happens here is we have i is equal to x less than y less than z so what happens here is initially x is less than y is x less than y that is first computed okay so is x less than y so x is 10 y is 20 x is less than y so you, it is true so you are going to get 1 the integer 1 and 1 is less than z is 1 is less than z it is again compared with z yes z is 5 so 1 is less than z it is true so you are going to get 1 as the output which is stand, which stands for true so the value of i will be 1 and option 4 is the correct answer so let us execute the code and see for ourselves so paste it here and executed it and i got 1 which is the option 4 here so thank you for watching this video if you have any questions, put it down in the comments. Thank you.